Good morning, this is Kello Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We have some sad news to share with you. 13-year-old Spencer Thorsland of Brandon died Monday morning. Spencer was battling cancer for the third time and was on hospice care. For the past few months, we have been following Spencer's story, including his make-a-wish trip to Disney World. If you would like to learn more about this amazing young man, we have our past stories right here on our website. The first major winter storm for Sioux Falls dumped nearly a foot of snow on the city, and many people spent Monday morning cleaning up sidewalks and driveways. We even talked to some local students spending their snow day doing some shoveling. I've been out since 7.40, and I don't know what the time is now exactly, but I'm almost done, so. Yeah, it's fun, I guess. It's, we're, we get a, snowball, a shovel instead, maybe go snowmobiling instead. The students were happy to get the shoveling done early so they could enjoy the rest of their day off from school. Well, meanwhile, others decided to have some fun in the snow. Kelsey Billion and her two boys, Jay and Tom, experienced their first snow day from school. Both are students in the Sioux Falls School District. Billion says the pair have been waiting all year to play outside in the snow. Jay's in kindergarten this year and Tom's in preschool, so this is their first snow day. Many schools in southeast South Dakota were also canceled due to the snow. This morning, Sioux Falls Public Schools are once again closed. You can find a full list of closings and delays right here on Kelloland.com. Oh, now let's get a check on our current conditions with meteorologist Scott Munn. Good morning, Scott. I know a lot of people still kind of cleaning up to try and get out of their driveways. Oh, yeah. Uh, that will continue through the morning hours. Uh, even some added light snow across eastern, southeastern Kettleland for this morning. Temperatures this afternoon will try to bring some sunshine only in the teens across eastern Kettleland. And we'll continue with these hits of light snow through at least the first half of the weekend and then turning much colder for the weekend into next week. More details on your forecast with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. Minnehaha County Emergency Management is taking action after yesterday's snowfall. The office coordinates with county agencies to provide safety measures for everyone. They also rely heavily on help from the community. I do have a volunteer group, uh, the rescue group, where they can come in and assist with bringing a plow truck out. Um, maybe a, a, we have a tracked vehicle if that's needed. Emergency management hasn't needed to rescue any stranded drivers yet, but with road condition, conditions changing, they say they're keeping in touch with first responders. Thousands of SDSU fans watched the Jackrabbits win the national championship Sunday, then began to make their way back to South Dakota. That includes our Kelloland fanfare buses. However, the winter weather back home caused the buses to spend one more night in Mulvane, Kansas, to allow it to pass. There's little to no snow in Kansas, but these fans know that South Dakota weather can be tricky. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you cancel your appointments and you just move on, you know, so. And we know how to drive, and we know what our limits are, so we're used to it. We're from South Dakota. Kelloland's Grant Sweeter and Anya Joseph are also waiting out the storm in Kansas. Weather pending, they'll get on the road this morning. The 23rd annual Mobridge Ice Fishing Tournament will officially go forward after a meeting of the overseeing committee. The committee chair says there is enough fishable ice to go ahead with the competition. The committee is warning anglers to use caution while out on the ice as some areas are newly frozen and not thick enough for safe fishing. You can learn more in a Kelloland.com original by Jacob Newton right here on our website. Well, that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, our weather update here today. Uh, first of all, the advisory is still in effect, Sioux Falls, until noon. On that, also we have northwest Iowa counties, including uh, the Sioux Center, Orange City area, and then south is under a winter storm warning until 6 p.m. So it's going to be a little while yet. We've got more wind to deal with and obviously some of those after effects of the uh, system here. You can see on morning radar trends, uh, we've had some additional accumulation even in Sioux Falls during the overnight and officially some of the numbers uh, we've got parts of the city of Sioux Falls almost to a foot uh, right there between 11 and 12 inches so pretty hefty isn't it for a system here and obviously you can see the snow today continuing from Missouri into Iowa and points 
to the east. Now, let's take a look at what's next on the forecast. So we're going to start off with some clearing today. Uh, we are definitely seeing that, of course, in western Kettle Land. And I do think even Sioux Falls, as we go throughout the afternoon, can see a little sunshine. But we're going to kind of hold the brakes on the highs, primarily here in the middle to upper teens Eastern Kettleland. Rapid City, a nice little bounce back. We'll get into the upper 30s, um, maybe near 40 degrees. Tonight, though, there is a system moving in and a patch of light snow with that. And that's forecast to come across Kettle Land here, and it could yield uh, maybe up to an inch of snow. So don't dismiss that entirely here because that does cross into the Sioux Falls area. A northwest wind behind that feature and temperatures moderating in the 30s, western South Dakota. Beyond that, well, now we got to regroup and look ahead to Friday, Saturday. There'll be another fast paced system moving out of the northwest. Keep that in mind, because once we set the stage right there, see that snow in Nebraska and Iowa? And yes, it tries to touch parts of Kettle Land here. Uh, we could see some of that. I'm not necessarily fixated on a big snowstorm here, but what would grab our attention is the depth of the polar air coming in for the weekend. And if that comes in conjunction with even a 30 to 40 mile an hour wind, which typically the models will end up underestimating that, so I would like to watch that period because you put some snow behind it, the extreme cold, the wind chill. Uh, there certainly could be more winter weather headlines this weekend that may alter your plans. OK, so that's what we're watching here in the storm center. Oh, and then we got to mention this too: the temperature, the downright air temperature by Sunday and Monday, probably not hitting zero in Sioux Falls. It's looking more and more likely that that's what's going to play out here. We go through that, you know, that's just part of life in the Northern Plains, but uh, it can be pretty pretty tough here in mid-January. So that's what, what's in our forecast. We've kept overnight lows between 10 and 15 below. There's some potential there, too. If we clear out and have optimal radiational cooling, you could get a 20, 25 below temperature in there, too, early next week. Numbers for Aberdeen, pretty cold, too. A lot of days will cycle down in the single digits above and below zero starting this weekend. And we are, we are definitely prone to very cold wind chills throughout the entire region, including Pier and Rapid City as we go into the weekend. The snow chance is there. It's not necessarily a high probability of major snows, but even some accumulation. It just reinforces all of this talk of winter weather. Check out the details. A lot of that to sort through online at kettleland.com.